Hey YouTube, it's AI Addict, and once again, I'm in San Jose, California at the NEO headquarters, where I have an ET7 behind me, where I'm happy to announce that NEO will have an ET7 at Riverfest in San Francisco on June 4th. We'll be there showing everything that this vehicle has to offer, including the Dolby Atmos experience, which is 23 speakers that you just have to experience yourself. But if you're unable to make it to San Francisco on June 4th, we're gonna take you through the Dolby experience today. So with that, let's go inside. Hey guys, I'm here in the ET7 with Emmanuel, who's gonna take us through the Adobe audio experience. Thank you so much for having the time to show us this entertainment system. And uh, with that, I'll hand the keys over to you. So within every new uh, ET7, ET5, and NT2 generation cars, we have Dolby Atmos by default. We can start with the first experience, video plus Dolby Atmos audio. So in this one, we demo the, the video, at the same time, uh, the full Dolby Atmos experience. Wow, I, I literally feel like I'm in like a movie theater in the Dolby exactly. like actual theater. So the Dolby Atmos is exactly this. The point is to try to reproduce and give the same Music. user experience Music. as within the theater. Right. Just one so within the car, we have 23 speakers, and with the Dolby Atmos, then basically the uh, the creator of the music can create the sound and move the sound. So I can already tell that this is a experience unlike any other. Normally when you hear audio coming from one section or another side of the car, you can really kind of pinpoint where the audio might be coming from. But in this car, it felt like, I'll say it's like water, it felt very fluid, like it was just transitioning all throughout the car and echoing off the right parts. Exactly. There was never a single part where I'm like, okay, I can hear the treble there, the bass there. It was all one. So we work with Dolby to make sure that where we position the speakers and the way that you represent the uh, playback, the audio, then we can really reproduce what the creator want to create and the experience that they want that the user get. We can play one of the music, which is one of the first one that will be recorded as a Dolby Atmos from Elton John's. So YouTube, I'm not sure how much of this I can show you, but I probably can give you about 15, 20 seconds here of my experience, but definitely give you my reaction, just for copyright reasons. It almost sounds like it's live. Yes. It's very clear and like a live. It's almost as if I'm listening to the actual master itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like the music basically is coming from everywhere, right? Yeah. So the way. Ooh. I heard you're back there, Carlos. What do you think? I think I have the best spot. I can't tell if I have the best spot or if it's good everywhere. <laughs> but it seems like I have the best spot. <laughs> it is everywhere. That drop, I instantly heard it pick up behind me and like in an array. And yeah, I'm, wow. And it's really clear that the, the backup vocals are yes. separate and distinct from everything else. Yes. It's like you can literally hear every different level. Yes. With the Dolby Atmos plus the speaker, the way that we position them, when the musician we create the music and try to separate the vocal from the instrument and all of this, yeah. they are targeting a certain experience. And usually that's the way that you get in a in the theater, right? Or in the studio. Yeah. And here we did a way that uh, basically within the car as a user, with new car, then you can feel the same thing. Yeah, no, this is incredible. I could easily see, my, see myself driving on the street like in LA or San Francisco, windows down, windows up even, and just having the soundtrack going and feeling like I'm in my own movie, yeah. in my own little world, like yeah. nothing around me exists. Yeah. Kind of like those Apple commercials, the uh, noise cancellation, yeah. and all of a sudden everything around you just disappears. Exactly, yeah. That's exactly what this experience yeah. feels like and more. I'm quite blown away already. This is just the first song I'm hearing on it. So the back there, what we experience up here is basically what they're also experiencing back yeah, there with Carlos. Yeah. The thing is because the sound, they move it. I mean, not depend on the music, but some music, I mean, uh, basically the sound, they, they, they move it. So then you feel, I mean, of course, then you're from the back, you feel different. But at least everywhere you feel this, uh, this real 3D. Right? Yes. Yeah. You feel that the sound is moving. It's not like, oh, just coming from the speaker here, right? Yes, exactly. Car, right? Yes. Like, yeah, just here. They can separate the vocal from the from the instrument and it feels more clear, right? Yeah. The vocal is very clear. The, you can this, hear the hi-hat very yes. well. You can hear the drums, the guitars, yeah, yeah. and they feel like they're different tracks. Yeah, exactly. And, and in, but in different areas, as if it's a live concert. Yeah, it's, exactly. Like it's coming from a very real yeah, space. exactly, yeah. That's something I've never experienced yeah. before. It literally is like you're in the movie theater watching yes. Marvel or something, yeah, yeah. and like that action scene's happening. Yes. You can feel everything that's going on around yeah. you and yeah. make it an emotional yes. experience. Exactly. This car is not yet set up, but 
the guy the ET5 in China, you have it, right? And that's that's a goal, right? But not cinema, you have your movie and you have the sound at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Like imagine, for example, Avatar or this kind of movie. You can watch your movie here. Yeah. Mad and Max. with this, yeah, Mad Max, right? <laughs> it's a 3D movie. You see this sound, right? In, within the cabin, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh. It takes immersive experience yeah. to another level. It's a really true immersive experience, yeah. right? Yeah, you can instantly already hear that, like, it really puts the instruments forward. It literally feels like every different track is separated yes. from, the, from right. the vocal or from yes. the yes. instrument and everything. Yes. Wow. So, depending on the sound, I mean, but most of the time, that's why with Dolby Atmos and with the car, I mean, you will feel, feel the separation, right? Yeah. And then, like, right back there, there was the background singers going, whoa, ho, ho. Like, it literally feels like it was full 360 yes. around me. Yeah. That was pretty cool. All right, YouTube. It's without a doubt, Neo has a much better sound experience than Tesla. Tesla, you gotta get on your, you gotta get your game up. <laughs> I was gonna say, coming into this, I'm not really an audiophile. I'm more of like, you know, the car review guy. But having been in many other EVs and having experienced a lot of different audio setups, this is definitely the nicest and best audio setup I have been in any, uh, whether it be an ICE vehicle or an EV vehicle in both my reviews or test drives. So, I mean, whether that be BMW or Tesla or Rivian, I mean, this actually does blow it out of the water. Um, I have to admit, I'm in quite impressed. I mean, it's really hard to relay this information to you guys over through a video screen on cameras through YouTube. You kind of actually have to be here to experience exactly what this immersive uh, experience basically is. It's That's what it is, it's an experience. Like I said, um, you even though there are speakers in the car, there are 23 of them. And so you really don't, re it blends the music very well. And it's uh, very adaptive. It's without a doubt the most adaptive sound experience I've, I've had so far in my, in my career doing EV reviews. So with that, thank you so much for thank joining so us much. the vehicle. And I appreciate everything you showed us. Thanks for the time.